All right, what's happening, y'all? It's your boy Rico from Street Scores, and we finally got a slice of good news. Like I've already talked about in previous videos, there was a chance that a lot of these guys that have gone onto the COVID-19 reserve list recently may be able to return before the Eagles game as long as they're able to put together two consecutive negative tests. I mean, it could be with, or within two days. And with the game being delayed till Tuesday, and of course, we got to talk about that as well, that means that everybody that's on the COVID-19 reserve list has a chance to return for this Eagles game. So it may not be as dark. We still have a lot of injuries. I mean, Terry McLaurin, the concussion protocol, Wes Schweitzer, the IR, Logan Thomas gone for the rest of the season, Chase Young, of course, gone for the rest of the season. A few guys like that are gone even beyond COVID, but we may get a lot of the guys who tested positive for COVID back by this Eagles game again, especially since it's been postponed to Tuesday night. But most importantly, and the main reason why we're here, Montez Sweat and Jonathan Allen, amongst a few guys, have already been activated from the COVID-19 reserve list and they are free to go play against the Eagles. They are good. They are cleared. All things a go. We're not going to have a game without Jonathan Allen and we finally get Montez Sweat back along with a few other guys. So we're going to talk about that and more. But before we dive into all of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell next to the subscription button so you get a notification immediately. And every time I release an informative and opinionated video just like this one, as always, man, make sure you check out the rest of the channel. All of my videos are organized in playlists. I even have a comedy playlist for all of my funny videos if you want to check those out as well. And of course, I'm going to keep you updated on everything revolving around this team as far as injuries, COVID-19, our playoff hopes, and y'all know I'm heavy into the draft. So once we get to that part, expect plenty of mock drafts, film sessions on prospects and all of that top list big board team needs all of that type of stuff so stay tuned and without further ado let's get it all right so first of all the main news is Jonathan Allen, James Smith Williams, Montez Sweat, and Casey Tuhill have all been activated from the COVID-19 reserve list. So we'll have all of those guys available. Uh, remember, we haven't had Montez Sweat in over a month. He had the jaw injury, and then once he was fully recovered from the jaw injury, he tested positive for COVID. And since he's not vaccinated, he had to wait at least a minimum of, what, 10 days, I believe. So now he's ready to go. And then we also got Jonathan Allen back. We had the scare with him. He tested positive just a few days ago, and he's already cleared within less than a week. And again, a lot of guys like Taylor Heineke, I mean, just pretty much everybody on the team, if they're vaccinated and if they're able to put together two negative tests in a row before Tuesday, they should be good to go. So who knows? We may get Taylor Heineke back. We may get Kyle Allen back. I mean, we may get everybody back. And then, of course, I mean, there's also guys like J.D. McKissick, who we haven't seen just because of regular injuries. We may get him back against the Eagles. So we'll see. Now, it's great news that we are getting a lot of guys back, but at the same time, even with the delay and again we're going to talk about that as well but even with the delay to tuesday a lot of these guys haven't practiced in a long time they haven't practiced really all week everything's just been virtual so it's really hard to prepare for a team like the eagles especially with how different they are i mean they have a mobile quarterback who's literally his best feature is to run and we haven't really faced that this season. I mean, we went against Taysom Hill a little bit. And a lot of the quarterbacks we went against are mobile, but it's not like their main thing. Like the Eagles are almost running like a college offense to an extent. Like they love to run the ball. And that's why us getting our defensive linemen, specifically our edge rushers, our defensive ends is huge right now. Because we're going to need as much depth as we can get. I mean, Montez Sweat being back is great Jonathan Allen being back is also great but a lot of those guys that stepped in in the place of all of the defensive ends that we've been missing the past couple of weeks have actually stepped up pretty well I mean James Smith Williams and Casey Tuhill have done their thing as starters so to have them as depth is going to be very helpful against this Eagles running attack because honestly if you ask me I, I may prefer to play against a Jalen Hurst than a Garner Minshew because if we just focus on stopping the run Jalen Hurts is terribly inaccurate like it's bad especially when you get to the red zone he's like one of the worst quarterbacks as far as accuracy goes in the nfl in the red zone specifically 
And so, honestly, if we could just shut down his running ability, him and that run game, they have a myriad of running backs. I mean, Jordan Howard is a backup technically there. Miles Sanders, Boston Scott, they have a lot of running backs. So they clearly want to lean on the run game. As long as we can focus on the run game and just take Devonta Smith out the game, Jalen Hurts is going to be lost. And I think that's very achievable, especially if we get a lot of our guys back especially on the defensive side of the ball but again on the offensive side of the ball it's still looking ugly right now but again who knows if we put together positive tests maybe guys like taylor heineke kyle allen cam sims i mean even like our special teamers were out i've said this in previous videos but for those of y'all who may not know like troy apke david mayo cam sims Derek forrest a lot of our like heavy contributors on special teams also were on the COVID 19 list hopefully we get them back as well because with unless tress way is out here kicking it onto the eagles one yard line all game and deandre carter runs a couple of touchdowns back you could probably expect our special teams to go out there and be just as bad as our offense or defense was supposed to be with all of the guys on the COVID 19 reserve list that's a very underrated problem to have that a lot of people aren't thinking about our special teams is about to get hit hard too if a lot of those guys don't come off but it's very encouraging to see somebody like jonathan allen who was just put on earlier this week already coming off now maybe a lot of other guys get cleared before tuesday because again jonathan allen i'm talking about him specifically first of all because he's our best player on defense but secondly it's very important to note that he was placed on the COVID-19 reserve list just a couple of days ago and now he's already off of it so it's very realistic that from today as in Saturday up until Tuesday hopefully by like Monday ideally everybody is clear from the COVID-19 reserve list but hopefully we get a lot of guys back especially the really important guys again like a Taylor Heineke I mean, it was really bad we had 41 players out of a 53 active man roster limit that we could have like I mean it got really ugly at one point I still think it's crazy that we are leading the league in COVID cases this past week or at least top three and Dallas doesn't even have one I don't know how that works but for those of y'all who may not know the Washington Eagles game has been postponed along with the Raiders Browns game with all of the chaos that the Browns are under with the COVID-19 and the Rams also got hit hard so the Seahawks Rams game also got pushed back the Cleveland Browns and Las Vegas Raiders game has been pushed back to Monday at 5 p.m. Our game and the Seahawks and Rams game have been postponed to Tuesday 7 p.m. So we're getting two games at the same time. Also, all of these games will be available via NFL Sunday ticket since technically they were supposed to be like normal i guess 1 p.m 4 p.m games that were already supposed to be provided even though they technically will be prime time now by definition i guess they're still a part of the nfl sunday ticket package for any of y'all who may have that and is wondering that but that's very interesting of course you have a lot of eagles fans complaining but we were set up by the nfl and the, whoever makes the schedules from the very beginning we played the raiders after they had 10 days of rest we played the cowboys after 10 days of rest and now we're playing the eagles after a bye week so they had 14 days to rest and prepare for us and they're complaining about a two-day delay like they didn't originally already have 14 days now they're at 16 we still only had nine and if you remember last year because of all of the teams going through COVID last year at last NFL season when everything was even more unpredictable we were actually the best NFL team at handling COVID we had the least cases in the NFL like by a decent margin like we literally all it was was I believe Matt Ioannidis and he was already on like the injury reserve so we handle COVID the best out of any NFL team so if anybody deserves the benefit of the doubt it's us but even last year while we were the best team at handling COVID and isolating it even with just the one singular case we had our game got postponed even though it wasn't our fault when we had to play the Steelers so we literally gone through what the Eagles are going through right now and they'll be all right again they've had 16 days to prepare granted their next game will be within five days but they'll be all right they're not going to the playoffs anyway but yeah man that's the end of this video Video, please get in the comment section let me know how you feel about everything discussed in this video please like this video if you liked it if you learned anything are you hopeful that we may get a lot of our guys to return off of the COVID-19 reserve list before Tuesday I think we actually may get a few guys maybe not all 20 something of them but I feel like we will get a handful of guys and hopefully we get like Cameron Curl and Taylor Heineke back especially and hopefully Terry McLaurin can cure concussion protocol because man we need him and it'd be nice to get JD McKissick back as well after he's missed two weeks worth of games and practices due to a concussion but yeah man i appreciate the support man shouts out to everybody that pulls up to the streams leaves a like 
and definitely appreciate everybody that donates man really really appreciate y'all and as always i appreciate all of the support shouts out to all of my sponsors especially my pro bowl sponsors whose name you see scrolling on the screen right now and as always man i'll catch y'all later i'm out